Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to create Facebook and Instagram ads for the WooCommerce products. Just like the big e-commerce website like Amazon, Flipkart, Misho, etc. This is not your ordinary ad setup tutorial. We will cover everything from scratch including creating Facebook and Instagram pages, setting up business manager, creating an ad account, installing the pixel, setting up standard events, configuring event measurement, etc. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge to create powerful ads that can reveal those of the biggest names in WooCommerce. Okay guys, this is the website which we are created and we are going to advertise all this product on Facebook and Instagram. As you can see here, we are just going to advertise all our products on Facebook and Instagram. The all other platforms like the all the sub platforms like Instagram feed, Instagram stories, Facebook reel, etc. All this you can be set up with the ads manager. And we also integrated Meta Pixel on our website. So when a customer come on our website and when they are searching and all these things will be tracking on our Meta Business Manager and on our Ads Manager and we can retarget with the Facebook and Instagram ads. As you can see, all the details of your customers which is tracking on the Facebook. If you're looking to integrate your WooCommerce store with Meta Ads more seamlessly, consider ordering our service through our website. Our comprehensive package includes setting up Facebook Business Manager, creating ad accounts, installing the Pixel and Conversion API with App Plugin, verifying your domain, setting up standard events or up to four custom events, configuring aggregated event measurement. Our service is compatible with various platforms, including Shopify, WordPress, WooCommerce, Squarespace, Wix, ClickFunnels, Leadpages, and GHL. Please note that the service price does not cover advertising fees on Facebook and Instagram. If you require any assistance or support, feel free to create a ticket on our website and our team will be happy to assist you. So to create this, first come to the Facebook and come to your page section on the Facebook and you can create a new page for your web page, uh, website. Then you can choose the right category for your page or uh, for your business. You can choose the right category from the list and you can add a description. Once you are done that, click on create page and your page will be created. You can see here, click on create page and your page is created. And on the next step, you can add your website details here. Add your website details and you can add your mobile phone, email address, location, etc and all these things you can add all your working hours and all these things you can add on this section and add a profile picture and a cover image for your facebook page you can add it's so simple you can also add action button like whatsapp and all shop now all these things you can add here click on next once you click on the next section you can add your business whatsapp number and all these things on your page and you can invite your friends and click on next and you can click on done okay guys once you are finished your facebook page is set up and now we can go to the instagram you can use the instagram from phone that's more better so you can just uh, open your instagram app on your mobile phone and you can create a new account for your page like this it's so simple so when you are creating you can give some permissions like this as you are seeing in the video just click on continue so when you are creating a business account you can just choose this method you can create an account from your mobile phone that is more working Okay, this is the Instagram account. Click on the edit profile section and you can add a business name for your Instagram account and you can switch to professional account. Click on there and you can get a professional account for the Instagram. You can also select the right category and click on next and you can choose the business option and the next step you can connect it with your Facebook page which is we have created now. 
you can just connect it with the facebook page now our instagram page and facebook page are linked okay guys now go to your website and click on the plugin section and uh, search for for product feed plugin which is available free on wordpress plugin search directory you can see that you can install that free plugin once you install that click on activate and now go to the plugin settings just refresh it and you can see the plugin settings here once you refresh it you can see the plugin settings product feed pro click on the uh, plugin settings and you can choose a name for your feed and you can choose which uh, country from your you can choose your country and you can choose for the facebook or meta option from the drop drop down list and you can enable all these options as you are seeing in the video click on click on save and continue and click on save all this option you can leave as it is and click on save and you can just click on save mappings and click on continue and now just generate the product feed click on that and now your product feed is just generated and this is your product feed link okay guys now just copy it we can use it for the ads manager now go to the ads manager as you are seeing in the video click on ads manager and you can log in with your facebook account click on start now and you can see your ads manager here click on commerce manager as you are seeing in the video here you can add your catalog click on add catalog click on e-commerce click on next and you can add a catalog name for your project you can just add your catalog name click on create and wait for some time okay now your catalog is ready now click on view catalog okay guys now the catalog is ready now you can just click on data sources and click on data feed click on next and you can add your product feed url there click on next and you can choose the default currency to your country currency you can choose that and you can click on upload and wait for some time to get upload all these things okay after some time you can check that all your products is updated or uploaded on the meta field and you can see all your product here you can just scroll down and check all the products are uploaded okay guys now we are updated all the products you can also see that on the item section click on item section and you can see all the products now just close it you can see all the if you want it you can edit that products also from this uh, section and click on the add section as you are seeing in the video and click on ads and here you can create the ads now if you click on the event section you can create the pixels pixels which is we are installing the pixels for tracking purpose and you can retarget ads with your uh, audiences or customers who are visiting your website so you must install pixel for facebook retargeting etc to do that go to the plugin settings and you can search for pixel manager you can see the plugin here you can just install and activate the pixel manager plugin okay guys now we are just installing and activating the pixel manager plugin you can see the plugin settings on the left hand side of woocommerce settings okay guys now this is the plugin dashboard okay now go to the facebook event section and we can create a pixel for our website pixels are for tracking purpose you can show the retargeting ads all these things with the meta pixel so to create this you can go to the events and you can create a pixel and you can choose the web option from the list click on there and you can just click on connect you can add your name of your pixel here 
and click on create and your pixel is created you can add your website url just copy your website address here and you can paste it there and click on next and you can click on next and you can do it yourself option select that option and click on next then you can choose the meta pixel and conversion api now your pixel is created and you can see that id there click on next choose the setup manually option click on setup manually option click on next and now you can see a new window here click on continue and you can select all these options as you are seeing in the video you can use all the e-commerce and retail option and you can just enable all these options you can just enable all these options and click on continue and you can just add all these options and you can enable the customer information parameters all these things you can just enable according to your business purpose you can use the country option phone number and the first name all these options according to your business model you can just get the customer information parameters you can enable or disable after that click on continue and you can just finish the setup now your pixel is ready and you can test all the events which is before that you need to just copy and paste this your pixel id on your plugin settings you can just copy and paste all your pixel id and click on save changes once your pixel is added on your plugin settings you can go to the events manager and you can test all the events which is available on your website click on the test event section and you can just select all these options you can just explore the graph ap explorer and you can also test your website so to do that just copy your website url and copy it and you can just paste your website url and click on test you can see our meta pixel is working fine and you can see all the things which is uh, tracking on the meta so this will help you to retarget with the ads so you can see all these things are working fine you can see add to card view card view content all these things are just tracking once a customer places an order so you can see that on the events manager you can see it is initiated checkout and all the recent activity of the customer you can see that and now just click on ads and you can just click on create ad we can create an ad for our website now you can just connect to the tracking section you can just click on connect tracking enable the pixel on your ad account now just click on create ad okay guys now you need to connect an, ac an ad account go to the business settings you can click on there or you can see that burger menu option and you can just go to the business settings as you are seeing in the video just click on the business settings and it will take you to the business settings and click on create a new ad account if you have an ad account you can link with that page so if you want to create a new ad account you can create like that then you can choose your currency from the list you can see all the currencies which is available click on next and you can choose this ad account will be used for someone else or you can use for your business and just click on create and now your ad account is created and you can give permission for that particular admin and you can just select the full control and the, all these options and you can also add a payment method you can enable the payment method you can choose the country and the time and all these options and you can add payment method here you can add a add credit to claim all these options you can enable 
once you done all these things go to the commerce manager again click on create ad and you can see now your ad account there click on next now you can see here the campaign objectives you can see lot of campaign objectives available like awareness traffic engagement sales so we need sales click on sales okay now it will take you to a new dashboard like this as you are seeing in the video so here you can create a ad set name here you can choose the ad set name and performance code you can maximize number of conversions maximize number of link clicks maximize number of impressions you can choose whatever you want but i recommend maximize number of link clicks that's better so you can choose that and you can see the estimated daily result here now you can choose the uh, daily budget here and now you can see your estimated daily result and you can in, uh, create a start date and end date and the audience type the here very important if you want to retarget you can choose the retarget option and if you want to pri find prospective customers you can choose that and you can enable that and you can choose your country and you can click on advantage audience here for detail targeting so you can choose the website visitors you you whom you want to show the ad so you can choose the customers like that you can select their interest behavior etc so we are selecting garden as the primary objective and the online shopping as an interest and now click on next and you can select your facebook page here so this is very important you can choose your facebook page and instagram account so now our instagram account and facebook page which is uh, ad see ad is showing so you can see here and you can click on creative options now you can see our all our products are showing on the ad section and now you can add the website link and all other descriptions you can add all these things you can see here now you can see uh, enabled on our ad and you can click on advanced preview option and you can see all the ad of our products which is available here you can see all these advanced uh, preview once everything is okay you can click on publish and after reviewing the facebook team the ad will be published on facebook and instagram so if you want to create an ad like this more detail you can contact us and we will create it for you